Hi, I'm Scott Van Dyke. I'm a commercial photographer. I specialize in interiors and architecture. Hi. I'm a commercial photographer. I specialize in interiors and architecture. Why interiors and architecture? They don't talk back. And if you think this is a ploy to pimp my dog out, absolutely right. So today I want to talk about some of the equipment that I use. One is a uh, P45 Phase 1 bag, and the other one is a Hossi Flex bag. If you're not familiar with it, this is a P45 bag from Phase 1. Um, as you can see, just has a sensor on the back. That's what captures the image, right? It records it. And this is a Hossi Flex bag. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. All right. So it's got a little screen. It looks like a, a 4x5 scenario. Um, this, this, I particularly have an 80 millimeter lens on it. Uh, one of the dilemmas that I had with uh, using the, the flex body with the P45 bag was um, understanding the operation of shutter. Now, when you use um, an 80 millimeter lens on a typical, um, for instance, I have a 503 um, Hasselblad, um, the, the shutter will stay open. And the mirror is what allows the image to record back and forth. So you open up the mirror and close it. So as it records, a phase back on to the flex body, this is already exposed and this is already open. What I had to figure out was that this, the flex body, which no one told me, has what's like a double pump. Uh, okay, so right now you can see the shutter is open, right? You can see my hands going back and forth, so that means the lens is open and we can see through the back. So on the top of the flex body, you can see an open and close. This actually uh, acts as a winder uh, to set the, set the shutter and the lens. So this would be fully cocked open like it is. So now you can see how this is open. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is you're gonna get everything open. The, the shutter is now open, the back is open, you focused on your subject, you use a loop just like you would, you focus ring is actually right here on the side of the camera, over here, okay? You get your tilts and shifts going on. So at this point, you would put on the back. You remove the back plate, this is removable, this is just the grid plate, right? This is the, the ground plate. You remove that piece, so now the camera's like totally exposed. You're going to go ahead and place the P45 bag, this is, remember, this is after all, it's already been focused. Place that on the back, click that on like so, okay? This is what's called a wake-up cable. This, is, this cable connects from the back of the P45 to your lens. You connect that to it. Okay, like I said, this is fully open now. These two would not be able to work. You have an ex uh, a lens that's completely open and you have a back that's completely exposed. So obviously that would turn into a, a huge exposure, overexposure, you wouldn't record anything. So what you wanna do is you wanna double pump it. You can hear this. Okay, now, maybe you saw that it's closed. The, the lens is now closed. Now you're ready for your exposure. Okay, so you fired up the phase one back. You, now you're ready to take your shot. This particular camera, this back comes with a wake-up cable. You've got to wake up the back in order to make sure it's going to expose. So what happens is, click this little button here. There is a little button. Click this button, right? Boom. Green light comes on, means it's ready to go. Click the push down on lever. Anyway, I hope that information helps you out. I'm going to bring some more tips of things that work for me and what don't work for me. I'm just here to kind of share some information. And um, if you guys have any suggestions, please log on to my blog and, uh, or to my website. Give me an email because I'd really like to hear back some feedback from you guys. All right. Until next time, Abby and I say cheers, baby. Say cheers, Abby. Yeah, cheers. All right, kids. Hope you're having a good day. Bye.